Before looking more closely at the HRG system and the role of HTA, I'd just like to give you a brief overview of the UK National Health System, the NHS. Responsibility for health and personal social services in England lies with the Department of Health, DOH, under the auspices of the Secretary of State for Health and associated ministerial bodies. Separate responsibilities are held by the Secretaries of State for Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland respectively. In England, the Department of Health sets overall health policy, including policies on public health, the environment and food matters. And as the responsibility for the National Health Service, in practice, health and health service provision and policy are broadly similar across the United Kingdom. The main characteristics of the NHS are free for all, most health care is free and participation is mandatory. Mainly tax financed, more than 80% of health care is funded through taxation. State control of health care provision, government owns medical facilities and employs health professionals. State controls resource allocation, state decides total budget and allocates between health authorities. Several core principles underpin the NHS. These include provision of services based on need rather than ability to pay, provision of a comprehensive range of services, services to be developed around the individual needs of patients and different patient populations, services to be of high quality and with minimal errors, public funds for healthcare will be dedicated solely to NHS patients, strive to protect the health of individuals and reduce health inequalities, respect individuals' confidentiality, providing open access to information about services, treatment and performance. The NHS, a universal healthcare system driven by government control. This government control has enabled tight control on healthcare expenditure. In the past, this has resulted in huge problems of insufficient capacity, resulting in waiting lists, for example. The NHS continues to work towards resolving these issues. Despite huge investments, many challenges remain.